Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering mechanics. Well, today we're going to be taking up one more problem on dynamics. And first of all, I would suggest all of you to pause the video right now and go through this description. Okay, now I'm assuming that you've read the description. So let me explain you this arrangement in a very brief manner. Now you can clearly see the string over here passing over this pulley and this pulley. And this part of the string or this end of the string has a mass A connected to it. Okay, the weight is unknown to us. And over here, we have a pulley onto which this block B has been suspended. Now, block B's weight has been given to us in the form of 200 newtons. So, what are we supposed to do? Let me read that. Determine the value of weight A required to give 0.6 g acceleration to weight B in the downward direction and in the upper direction. So, essentially, what we are supposed to find is what should be the value of weight a so that b has an acceleration of 0.6 g in the downward direction okay and then in case two what we need to find is what should be the appropriate weight of this block a in order to make sure that this b or this block p has an acceleration of 0.6 g in the upward direction so these are the cases that we're going to be dealing with so here they are case one and case two so first of all what we need to do is we need to find the relation in terms of acceleration between these two masses okay so here we go let me let me kick start let's say this is the weight of block a and let's say the tension over this part of the string is t over here also it's going to be t here also it's going to be t t plus t is 2t here the tension will be 2t and weight obviously is going to act in the downward direction that's 200 newtons so what else have we got all right guys now i'm going to be using this power technique that is the net power delivered by the string is equal to zero technique and if you haven't seen my video on this particular concept i suggest all of you to watch that video uh, the link to which can be seen at the top right corner of the screen somewhere here okay pause the video right now and watch that video and once you've seen that video come back to this video again and then you can understand this concept in a very easy manner it's a very good technique and something which is really going to help you in terms of time consuming okay the time consumed by this method is far less than the calculus one that i've explained in the previous um, examples okay so as far as this technique is concerned the logic is p net net power delivered is equal to zero so essentially we have to deal with two blocks so p1 plus p2 is equal to zero now guys first of all we have to do this okay the weight a has to be found out um, in order to make sure that b has an acceleration of 0.6 g in the downward direction that's in the downward direction acceleration b and this is going to be acceleration a so we are dealing with case case number one okay that's acceleration a all right now you can also say acceleration is in downward direction the velocity also is in going to going to be in the downward direction if acceleration is the upward direction then obviously velocity is also going to be in the upward direction that's it now power is the product of force and velocity so here we go starting from this point tension upwards velocity downwards all right opposite direction negative power negative tension is how much for block b it's 2t 2t dot v velocity of block p so that's going to be v p okay as far as block a is concerned tension is upwards velocity is also upwards same direction positive power t dot v a is equal to zero and you can essentially write this as t will cancel out and 2 v b or v a is equal to 2 times of v b and i can tweak this formula i can differentiate this with respect to time and you'll have this relationship a a is equal to 2 times of a b an extremely important relationship which I'm going to be using for this example. All right. So that's done. Now, guys, we already know what the acceleration of block B is. We already have been given. Okay. So we need to have an acceleration of 0.6 G for block B. And for that, how much weight uh, should this block A have? And that is supposed to be calculated. All right. So A B is equal to how much? That's 0.6 G. And this is something which has been given to us okay so on putting this value over here right you're going to get the value of acceleration of a and which is going to work out as 0.6 g multiplied by 2 
will obviously be equal to 1.2 g okay 1.2 into 9.81 you can say all right so that was all about the acceleration relationship between the two blocks that is a and b now let's go ahead and let's carry out the motion analysis so let me create a free body diagram for both the blocks block b okay it's going to go downwards with an acceleration of ab block a is going to go upwards with an acceleration of aa done tension for block b in the upward direction is how much that's 2t so over here let me put up 2t and for block a it's tension t let me write t over here done so weight is going to obviously act in the downward direction 200 newtons and that's going to be we don't know what the weight is let's assume it to be w a motion is happening in the vertical direction so here we go summation of all the forces in the y axis is equal to product of mass acceleration for block p and for block b and let me frame this where is the motion happening downwards which force is dominating then or which force is in the direction of motion that's 200 take it as positive and take this 2t in the negative sense so we can write this as 200 minus 2t is equal to mass into acceleration so mass is nothing but weight divided by g that is acceleration due to gravity how much is the weight 200 over g multiplied by acceleration for block b how much is that 0.6g tick so g and g will cancel out what remains is 200 times of 0.6 so this should probably work out as 120 so i can essentially write this equation 200 minus 2t is equal to 120 let's say this is our equation number 1 okay let me separate this all right now let's try to frame another equation for this block a in y direction is equal to product of mass acceleration block a block a and where is the motion happening well in the upward sense so which force is in the direction of motion it's t take it as positive and this is opposite take it as negative so t minus w a is equal to mass and acceleration so mass is nothing but weight divided by the acceleration due to gravity multiplied by a a a is values it's 1.2 g 1.2 g g and g cancels out so what remains is this um t minus w a is equal to 1.2 w a so t can be written as let me write this t minus w a is equal to 1.2 w a and t can be written as 2.2 w a okay so essentially we have two equations and we need to solve these two equations so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the value of t okay the which is equal to 0 2.2wa over here and the entire equation will be in terms of wa and we can finally get the value of wa that's going to be very simple so 200 minus 2t 200 minus 2 times of t how much is t 2.2 wa and what else is equal to 120 so this is going to be pretty simple 200 uh minus 120 is how much it's 80 yeah and that's 4.4 times of wa wa will be equal to 80 over 4.4 and the final value is 18.188 newtons let me go ahead and check this i've made a note already 18.18 newtons right so the final answer is like this block a should be having a weight of how much 18.18 newtons in order to make sure or in order to ensure that this block b moves in the downward direction with an acceleration of 0.6 g that's it so that was case number 1 let's worry about this case case 2 okay mm -hmm. now what we're interested in we're interested in calculating the weight of block a that will ensure that this block b travels in the upward direction with an acceleration of 0.6 g okay so i've made this figure smaller version of it mm -hmm. and again i'll be developing the acceleration relationship that's t that's uh, where is the where is the velocity happening okay okay in this case um this block b will have an upward acceleration so this way so that's vb if this is going to go upwards this is going to go downwards so that's va and over here we already know that's 2t since these are t and t Okay, I'm going to be using the power technique again. P net is equal to zero. P one plus P two. 
for both the blocks is equal to zero so for both the blocks let's start from here 2t and vb same direction positive 2t dot vb okay um t upwards and v downwards opposite direction is negative t dot va is equal to zero again i am using the power technique and i suggest you all to go through my video that is constraint motion net power delivered is equal to zero technique go through that and this is going to be super easy very less time consuming okay so two times of vb again we'll be getting the same relationship two times of vb is equal to va you can also say that aa is equal to two times of ab now guys we already know what the acceleration of b should be okay it should be equal to 0.6 g that's given Uh, how much is 0.6 g and that too in what direction in the upward direction well if this is going to travel in the upward direction right then obviously this block a will travel in the downward direction so block a will have an acceleration of how much if you multiply this two times of ab you'll get aa so two times of 0.6 g will be equal to 1.2 g but in the downward direction now guys pause the video right now and think for a moment whether having an acceleration of 1.2 g for block a that to in the downward direction is really possible or not just think about this <clears throat> okay so here is the deal we are living on planet earth if i just hold something and i drop it okay what is the acceleration that object is going to have well obviously its acceleration will be equal to g that is equal to 9.81 meters per second square any falling object on planet earth will have an acceleration of 9.81 meters per second square that is g its acceleration can never can never i repeat that can never be more than g that is 9.81 meters per second square unless any external force is acting on it in the direction of motion only then it can happen otherwise absolutely not even if even if let me go ahead and tell you this even if you break the string from over here okay the acceleration that this block is going to acquire is going to be equal to g that is 9.81 meters per second square and not more than that it can never happen at least on our planet right so this case case number 2 that the value of weight a required to give 0.6 g acceleration to weight b in the upward direction is absolutely ridiculous is absolutely unrealistic and is absolutely invalid right so here is the verdict here is the final answer that since since the acceleration of block a okay is more than the acceleration due to what gravity there is no value of weight a which can satisfy this case that's the final answer had you been in some other planet maybe this would have been possible oh so guys that was all from my side for today If you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below I'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video you get a notification you get an update and do tell your friends about this channel so that they can also benefit they can also learn well I'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics until then It's a wrap this is Manas Patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep learning